Kamala Commissioner Aimee Ferrolino says the credibility of the poll body remains intact amid a backlash over its ruling against the disqualification case against Bongbong Marcos. In a press conference Wednesday, February 16, Ferrolino allays the public's fears on the elections. Ferrolino is the ponente, or writer, of the delayed ruling that allowed Marcos to run for president despite his tax conviction. Retired Kamala Commissioner Juan Aguanzon accuses Ferrolino of political interference in delaying the ruling on the anti-Marcos petitions. The Kamala is composed of so many people from the top of the this uh, employee. So I think uh, that rough patch, that minor uh, issue, will not affect the credibility or the condition as a whole. In a tweet, Guantan questions Ferrolino's choice of words, saying, minor issue? Eight days after Guantan's retirement on February 2, the Comelex First Division eventually released a dismissal order on the consolidated anti-Marcos case. The Cajampinks, or the supporters of Vice President Lenny Robredo online, are ecstatic after American pop star Cher expresses support for the presidential candidate Wednesday, February 16. Cher earlier tweeted, if you want it done right, let a woman do it. Cher's original tweet was then quote tweeted by Twitter user at the Super Kim, saying Cher really said hashtag let Lenny lead. At first, Cher had no idea who Lenny is, saying excuse don't know Lenny in a tweet. Several people quickly replied to her to inform her that Lenny is the current vice president and quote unquote soon to be president of the Philippines. Upon learning who Lenny is, the singer replies, Bravo, let women do it. She adds, Let Lenny and all women fighting to save climate, children, elderly, poor, homeless, sick, people of all colors, ethnicities, LGBTQ. Robredo is the only woman running for president in the upcoming elections in May. She is up against Manila Mayor Isko Moreno, Senator Manny Pacquiao, Senator Ping Lacson, Labor Leader Leo Di De Guzman, and Dictator's son Bongbong Marcos. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The Autism Society Philippines calls out Davao del Norte 1st District Representative Pantaleon Alvarez for using disability slurs to poke fun at a political rival. In a Facebook post on February 12, the group calls the attention of Alvarez to stop the slurs. It says, Autism or other disabilities should not be used as ammunition in the ongoing political exercise. To use disability as a joke or insult does not elevate one's standing as a public servant. Alvarez, an ally of Senator Ping Lacson, is seen talking about Oyo Uy, the son of a political rival who is running for vice governor. In his speech, Alvarez makes fun of Oy as a special child and for being autistic. The former House Speaker apparently makes the same joke at another gathering, this time in Tagum City. The Autism Society Philippines says it challenges candidates at all levels to articulate their plans for the improvement of the lives of Filipinos with disabilities. A U.S. patient with leukemia becomes the first woman and the third person cured of HIV. The woman received a stem cell transplant from a donor who was naturally resistant to the virus that causes AIDS. The two prior cases occurred in males, one white and one Latino, who also received adult stem cells. The case of the middle-aged woman of mixed race is also the first involving umbilical cord blood, a newer approach that may make the treatment available to more people. Since receiving the cord blood to treat her acute myeloid leukemia, the woman has been in remission and free of the virus for 14 months. There was also no need for potent HIV treatments known as antiretroviral therapy. Sharon Lewin, president-elect of the International AIDS Society, says bone marrow transplants are not a viable strategy to cure most people living with HIV. But the case confirms that a cure for HIV is possible and further strengthens using gene therapy as a viable strategy for an HIV cure. BTS's V, also known as Kim Tae Young, tests positive for COVID-19. In a statement posted on Weverse, the group's management big hit music says V took an RT-PCR test on Tuesday, February 15, after experiencing a mild sore throat. 
His results, released later that evening, turned out positive. The management adds, V is fully vaccinated and is also experiencing a mild fever. He is being treated at home and waiting for guidelines from health authorities. The agency also says V was in contact with other BTS members on February 12, but everyone was wearing a mask and there was no close contact. None of the other members are experiencing symptoms at the moment, and everyone tested negative from preemptive self-tests. V is the latest member of BTS to test positive for the virus. Previously, members RM, Jin, Suga, and Jimin got COVID. All four have fully recovered.